Hi, everybody. This is Tana from Proverbial Homemaker. And today we are going to do a little Facebook Live talking about the program CTC Math. This is an online program for math, for homeschooling, or for supplementing if you're doing public schooling. And this is something we've been using in our family for a while. And I've had some questions about it. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit about CTC Math and then show you a glimpse inside and what the program is like. I know a lot of you are in the middle of making curriculum purchasing decisions right now. And if you have been looking at CTC Math as an option for online math curriculum, then this is for you. So let me know at any time if you guys have questions or comments. You can um, comment now because it's live. So I'll answer your questions if I can. And if not, I'll get back to you later. And if you're catching the replay later, don't worry. You can still ask your questions and make your comments. And I will make sure that I come back and address those later whenever I can. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit about um, CTC Math. This is, like I said, an online math program. Our kids, my oldest two kids used this. Um, my oldest is 10 and then my second oldest is seven, or I guess she's eight now. So those two have been using CTC Math and they've been really enjoying it and getting a lot out of it. And the reason why I made the switch to CTC Math were, were for a few reasons. One, it's very affordable. Um, for right now you can get 60% off. Homeschoolers can get 60% off CTC Math. And I took advantage of that deal. So we were able to get, you know, for $118.80, we were able to get a family um, access to the whole program. Everything from kindergarten all the way up to high school, you get all the levels for all your kids and your whole family for less than 119 bucks. And that's a pretty good deal. So um, that's an annual payment. So we did that and you can take a look at the link I guys left I left you guys. It will explain some of the other um, options that you can take advantage of. You can get it for one child. You can do monthly versus annual payments. There's a whole bunch of different options, but um, that was one of the big selling points for me. The other one was that I was struggling. You know, I have six children that I'm homeschooling and I was struggling to get the correcting done to be able to do the math instruction with them, but then also to correct their papers. For some reason that correcting their papers thing was really challenging for me. And so what I found was that the math papers, they just kept slipping and pretty soon two or three days or even a week would go by and I hadn't caught up with, you know, correcting all their papers and catching any mistakes and seeing if there were any areas that they needed reinforcement or some extra instruction on and it was causing problems for them and it was frustrating for them. And, um, so I decided to give CTC Math a try because it will correct them as they go and give them you know, little pop-ups when they don't do it right and they will come get me or I'll be nearby so I'll see that they need some help with that. And it gives me a weekly um, progress report that tells me how to decide CTC Math. So the way this works is, this, the, I came into the um, view for my son. Um, my oldest. So if I click up on his name up here, it, when he logs in, what you would see is this. This is it's basically wherever he left off before. It would show that. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what all is included in CTC Math. So if you look over here on the left, you'll see there's an elementary tab here, there's junior high, middle school, and there's high school. And if you expand those, you'll see, you know, there's kindergarten through fifth grade for elementary, junior high, sixth and up, and then high school. Um, goes all the way up to calculus. So you, when you pay for a membership to CTC Math, you get all this. Um, that if I'm doing fourth grade with my kid, and you know maybe they are ready to move up a little bit in certain areas, but or they need a little bit of review in past grades, we can skip around as we see fit. There's no needing to you know call in and upgrade a level. You have access to all of it, which is really handy. So here, if I am going in and, you know, looking at what my son is doing, if I'm in fourth grade, here are the basic areas. So numbers, patterns, algebra, measurements, space and geometry, statistics and probability. And when you click on those, it shows you um, lessons within those categories. So here you see number one, addition and subtraction. The little check mark means that they've completed and passed all of those lessons in that um, category. And over here, you'll see like with number one, it shows 10 out of 10. That means they've completed 10 out of 10 lessons under number one. So if I click on that, it'll show you here's all the lessons within number one category. 
it shows that they've completed it here. You can click on it to look at the lesson. Here it has them rate their own understanding of the content, and here you can see what their grade is. And you can set what a passing grade is. So you can say in the teacher area, which I'll show you in a little bit, you can say whether it's 80% or 90% or whatever you want. So you can adjust that. And then over here it shows them this is where you are generally um, as far as percentage, and they give you these little awards. So he's at gold level, it says to reach platinum level, raise your average by um, to 100%. And then in the corner or the uh, side over here on the right, it shows speed, skills, and timetable, shoot them up. So these are math drills, basically in these fun, interactive ways. Um, my son really gets a kick out of those. So he would do one lesson or maybe two, um, depending on if he's you know catching up or speeding through or whatever. And then he would do um, either speed, skills, or the times table. Um, up here, I wanted to show you they have diagnostic tests. So if you're coming into CTC math and you want to see where your kid should be, you what I did was I picked the general area. So if I, I came back here and I kind of looked and said, okay, you know, we came over, I think, in the middle of the year last year to CTC math. And so I figured out what areas is he, you know, pretty solid in. And I kind of just ignored those and maybe, you know, glance through them a little bit. And then what areas was I not sure he was doing well in? So I might look at those and do a diagnostic test. And you can do either short as 20 questions or 30 questions or 40 questions. And that will give you a good idea of their level of mastery of that topic and help you figure out how to, you know, if you need to go through all of the lessons or maybe just some of them. So that's how they do um, placement tests. It's not so much one test where you take the test and see if they're gonna be able to do the fourth grade level or the fifth grade level, it's more like you go into each topic and figure out, you kind of have to figure out where they are in that level based on their diagnostic test results for different topics. Um, which, I don't know, there are pros and cons to that. I personally like that because um, when we came over to CTC Math, he was strong in some areas and not in some others. And this made it easier to just focus on the things that he had to do instead of trying to go through the whole thing. Um, if that makes sense. So that worked pretty well for us. Um, okay, so let's take a look at one of these. So if you go, if your kid comes in, this would be the view if he was already working in this area, he would see, um, well, let's see, I'll go to one where he hasn't finished all of them. So this one, it would show, this is what it would show when he logs in. And so it would show the ones that he needs to complete, like this one shows 80% and it does not have a check mark because I had set it to 85%, I believe, for the um, for passing. So he would go in and do that one again. And so it opens it up, and here's what a lesson looks like. And on the right, you can see lessons in this topic, and it will show it will show a list of all of the lessons that we just looked at. And so if he needs to you know, skip around or came into the wrong one, or if he finishes this one and wants to go to the next one, it gives him an easy access to that. So when he comes in here, he watches the lesson, and I'll show you guys a little bit. So we look at some problems involving division, divided equally into times tables. Well, I know. Okay, so you can like just showed you. You can go forward and go backwards, so he can go back and listen to things again at his own speed, or go back and listen to the lesson. It goes through the lesson, and then he does the questions. So here's the video, and then up here it has questions. So when you say start questions it'll give him a list of questions. And here you can click this little icon right here to have it read to them. And then they enter in the answer and all the questions look different. I won't go through all of them, but they all look different. And it will tell how many he's got correct out of how many there are. And then when you get to the end, it will tell him, it'll give him a summary of any that he got wrong and then the ones he got right and you, he can look at the lesson sheet and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute for the ones that he got wrong. And um, it also gives him an option to do more questions. It'll have up here somewhere, it'll say do more questions or something like that. So what would happen is we would be doing a lesson or he would be doing a lesson and maybe he sails through it and gets 100%, no big deal. Sometimes maybe he's struggling with something and he'll be like, mom, can you come help me? Or he got more than one wrong and he'd say, mom, come and take a look at this. And so we'd look through the questions, um, the summary sheet and say, okay, 
do we need to take a closer look at this? And we talked through it and figured out, and then we click on more questions and he would do some more for practice to uh, practice what we discussed. You can also see down here underneath the video, it will show for your reference and here's a lesson summary. So if I click lesson summary, it basically takes all information from the lesson and presents it just in a simple document. So you can quickly review for yourself. You don't have to read the whole thing or watch the whole video. I mean, you can see quickly what um, the lesson was about and how they solved it. And that will help you instruct your child as well. These over here where it says open PDF and new window and download PDF. That's just if you don't, if this doesn't pop up for some reason, it gives you other options. You could download the PDF. Okay, and then in activity log, it will show you um, what access they did. So it will show you um, what the activity has been for that particular lesson. So that's basically how a lesson works. So if he finishes that, he can go to more questions or he can move on to the next lesson or he can be all done. All right, so that is basically how the lessons work. Um, they go through the lessons and I just usually assign them one, one or two a day, um, depending on you know their level for that um, category we're on. And then what they also have here is weekly revision tasks. So here's all the lesson categories under fourth grade. And then under weekly revision tasks, this is, these are like review questions. But so semester one will dip back into you know earlier questions. So what I started having him do was he would do one or two lessons, do his speed drills. Um, which are also over here. And then he would do the one of the, um, they call them revision tasks, but basically they review. So he would do the lesson for that. And it would just help make sure that he wasn't, you know, it's basically CTC math is a mastery approach, but they were, that's how they work in review is doing these revision tasks. And you assign them if you want and however many you want and whenever you want. Um, Okay, so those are the lessons. And if you look up here, you see these tabs right up here. So that's lessons. If you go to tasks here, so this is the student view and I have no tasks assigned. I don't use this particular feature, but I'll show you how it works um, because a lot of parents really like this part. But if I had assigned my child um, certain lessons and diagnostic tests and all of these kind of things, he would see that list here. So when he logs in, he could look here, what tasks has mom assigned to me? And he could complete them in order. Um, he can see results. He can see his own detailed resu results here. He could see a summary report. He could see what his diagnostic tests were. Again, a list of his tasks if they're assigned, what awards he's earned, and then um, what his results have been on speed skills. And then for settings, this is just, you know, they can change their email or the report. It tells them what their pass mark is. I guess I have it set to 90%. That's something a teacher has to change. So I would log into the parent account and change that if I wanted to. And it shows what the history is. But mostly my kid is just come, you know, they log in. It goes right to where they left off. They just do the next lesson. They do one of the revision assignments and they do their speed skills and they're out. That's it. So let's see if I can show you um, the teacher account. Okay, so this is what the teacher account looks like. On the right, you'll see all your students and how they're doing generally. You can view their profile, you can log in as them and look at what they're doing. Um, down here, it shows activity. So you can see you know, what they've been up to. Over here under parents, it will, down here it says feedback, weekly rep progress reports and awards and certificates. So I get emails every week that tells me what, the, my, what uh, progress my kids have made in their CTC math, any awards and certificates they've won. You can turn those um, notifications off if you want so you don't get those emails, but you're still able to see all of that over here in the activity. You can see what awards they've earned and then under weekly reports, you can just download or view the um, weekly reports. So up here is where the tasks are. This is um, what I was mentioning. A lot of homeschoolers like this. I tend to just kind of wing it and um, touch base with my kids as they go through their lessons. So I don't use this feature. But if you wanted to, you could spend time ahead of time looking through the program and assigning them tasks. And the way this works is you would click add task and you can assign, you know, it will say when the task date is, what the title is. You can put in a description 
in there if you want. It can say automatically email the task report to me when it's due. Um, you can say whether they have to be done in the order listed or your child can pick and choose. And um, this is interesting, hide the year level of lessons and diagnostic tests from the students, which is kind of nice because if you need, if you realize that your child has, you know, they need to go back and revisit a topic that maybe they didn't quite nail in a previous um, grade level, it's not going to say, hey, your mom is making you review a grade two thing here and you're, you know, in the fifth grade. It will just assign them the task. Um, so you can add the recipients. If you have multiple kids, you can pick which kid you're, is getting this task. You can add the lesson or you can add a diagnostic test. So if I click add lesson, for example, it loads all the lessons on the bottom and you can filter them by grade. So right here, here's courses. So I go to fourth grade and it will list all the fourth grade assignments and I can add them here. Um, and that's it. So when I save it, it will show up the next time my son logs in, it will show up on his task list and he can complete that. And then under tools, under the tools, what you have for parents is you can browse all the lessons in the program here. So if I wanna, again, sort by grade, I could look in certain streams. So I'm looking in numbers and patterns. And so I can take a look at the, ta at the um, content and the questions that are going to be asked. I can look at the video, the questions. This is really helpful for planning purposes and if I kind of want to get a feel for where I want to place my child or what tasks I want to assign him. I can export the data and then they have checklists as well. So for fourth grade, if I want to um, keep track and have a record of what my child is doing beyond what they send me in the weekly progress reports and everything, or if you need it for homeschool records, you can print out off these checklists. It gives all the assignments and um, the section, the lesson, you can write down when it was completed and what grade they got and tuck that into your, um, your homeschool records. And that is basically it. It is pretty simple and straightforward. My children really enjoy it. It makes it very easy for me as the mom to be able to um, really um, have a, a math program where they're making progress and I don't have to like hold their hand every step of the way, but they're making progress and I'm alerted whenever they need help or they need a little bit of extra instruction or when something needs to be, um, you know, something is corrected and it wasn't quite right and I need to work with them more on it or if I want to do diagnostic tests with them. So it has really been a helpful tool for us. It's been a great busy mom homeschooling curriculum for us. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget, I'll leave you guys the link, but you guys can get 60% off CTC math um, and you can check out all of the payment options. But for a family, um, an annual family payment, that works out to about $118 for an entire year for all levels for all of your children. It's a pretty awesome deal. All right, thanks guys.